So basically, there is no alcohol. It, it is no alcohol at the moment. If I put that in the glass of, of a simple wine, oh, fuck, yeah. so I messed it up. So, hello everyone. In today's video, we are gonna talk about this MQ3 sensor, which is designed to detect alcohol, uh, ethanol, benzene, smoke, and extended organic va vapors. And it is used in uh, alcohol detectors, uh, so-called breathalyzers. Similarly to the other sensor, it has three pins, actually four, which is the voltage, ground, digital output, and the analog output. And over here, the potentiometer could be used to output the digital, on the digital output, a value to flash a light or use a buzzer for a certain threshold. But we are gonna use the analog output as we did in the previous video. So by doing that, I have prepared an Arduino Mega. So after connecting the cables, there is the five volt ground and the analog output I have connected to the A0, the alcohol detectors. And I have prepared two glasses with some interesting fluid tests. Since it's alcohol tester, we will test it with real alcohol. But first, let's jump to the code itself. What we have here, we have decorated the, um, on the analog pin and then we are calibrating for the air what we have at the moment in the room and we are storing that, those values. Then we are starting to read the analog value. Then we are converting it. And then we are calculating a ratio for the MPP, uh, PPM. Then we are calculating a ratio for the PPM, which means uh, parts per mille. And basically, it, it is meaning how many gas particles are in the gas uh, detected by that sensor. And then there are so, some calculations for the ratio, uh, for, uh, for the alcohol level itself. And then we are going to monitor that value after changing the right bulb rate. Okay. Okay. So it is detecting a really high alcohol concentration where there is no alcohol in the air itself. Uh, breathalyzer alert. So maybe something is wrong with the sensor or the sensor's connection. Let me pull out. Then, okay, so it means this sensor it's not really well calibrated. Okay, so after fixing the code, then uh, we are really getting some, some values as clean air uh, here. I will share the, the sample code with you, which, uh, which I have prepared. And now it's time for a real test. But before we do the real test, and let me show you something. So if you see some Coca-Cola bottle, which is transparent, this is in Eastern Europe, most likely it's Pilinka. Uh, and Pilinka is, is, uh, is, is a brandy, but not the, the nice one brandy. And uh, instead of cheers, you will say Egeshegedre and it will burn in your throat as well. So. It's, it's really strong over here. And the other is, uh, is wine, simple wine. And I will use that wine to detect the, with the gas sensor. So I won't drink, it's still during the day. I, yeah, let's see. So if we add some wine to here, I will try to do not put it in. in the Arduino. So there is some wine. Okay, I can already smell it's really strong. The, and also the sensor is detecting something. And here is some palinka. And the 
and if I move the sensor about the, the wine just for test purposes we can already see that it is detecting something as alcohol at this part and uh, let me move just a bit see the values are changing and maybe the calibration is still wrong or the voltage is not really increasing okay it started to increase it is detecting something and ppm it's not a number so alcohol ppm it's not a number okay this is kind of accurate there are some alcohol in the near and if i put closer okay then it is it is jumping like crazy up and it is detecting that there is a high volume concentration so that's that's wine and if i move to to Palinka itself. Okay, there is a there is a jump. There is a really serious jump. And we kind of need to calibrate it. So I will simplify the code. In in my case it is three if it's above then it is three two point moderated alcohol detected so which is accurate but we have this at three point three point three and this is three point five three point five and everything above it's uh, uh, everything above for it's it's a uh, high, very high concentration of alcohol so basically there is no alcohol it it is no alcohol at the moment if i put that in the glass of of a simple wine oh back so i messed it up so this is a sensing why high concentration of alcohol and this won't be out for the next 10 years and it's like that but basically you have so basically you have seen that the alcohol sensor the mq3 sensor it's not really reliable and you have to calibrate a lot i have cal calibrated it a lot and um it, it's sensing really high volume of alcohol since i messed it up but that's about it um, you can play around with that it's not really dangerous using alcohol it's not recommended uh, it's just for detection it's just for for simple um, test and training and tutorial purposes if you want to see similar videos in the future don't forget to smash the like button and leave your comments below and see you in the next video Thank you very much. Wish you a great day.